penalties, all sizes, and all ages, really. Dave Ruffin was close to God at that time. He wanted to move like him, he wanted to sing like him, he wanted girls to love you like him. I mean, I watched him at the 20 grand one night, and with all due respect, man, I mean, all of a sudden I'm seeing clothes and stuff hitting the stage, you know? <laughs> By 1965, David and Sandra had three girls together. But David's infidelity was as well known as his music was becoming. I was aware that he was involved with other women. We were married and together when Jenna came along. He told me his name was David Rufino. He told me he was the lead singer of The Temptations. In 1964, he was not, when we met anyway. The next thing he told me that was a lie is that he wasn't married and didn't have kids. I didn't know it until after I had picked up from Baltimore, where I was living, and moved to Detroit. He left me when I was three months pregnant to start a relationship with Tammy Terrell, moved into an apartment with her. Everybody knew that Tammy Terrell and David were an item. Everybody wasn't as privy to the explosive parts of their relationship. There were times that they were happy, you know, uh, in between their fighting, but uh, it was kind of kind of bad at times, oftentimes. He loved Tammy, he loved Sandra, he loved Jenna. He cared for all of them in his way. Maybe he showed love different. The beatings were severe enough to where I needed medical attention on several occasions. 